Okay, so good morning. The month of June is trees. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to take this photograph that I take I took in Germany um, last summer. Now, as you can see, there's quite a few trees in there, and there's a lovely glow of light coming through the other side. That's what attracted me to the scene, and I was biking along that path, and it was a beautiful evening. And the sun was coming from my right, so you could see that that you know it couldn't get through the the nearer trees, but further away there was a, a gap, and uh, the sun was streaming through, and that's what attracted me to this. So I, I thought it'd be a, um, an ample opportunity to show you how to actually get that um, glow in the in the distance and how to attack the trees either side. Um, I'm going to focus on that light bit, so the detail was going to be in that light bit okay i've got some nice shadows on there some sun coming through the fence so we're gonna we're gonna start by and what i'm initially going to do is i'm going to just go in with this road i just want some sort of uh thing to lead um the viewer into the picture you've heard me say that times many so we're just going to do this road which goes around that corner which you can actually show really nicely um, by the light on that little bit there okay and then we've got a banking I'm not too worried about the banking but I just need to show that it's it is steep and this was just a fence so whether we put the fence in um, I'm not sure but I shall just do that for now and then we've got some trees so i just want to to show where i want the trees now i don't want them uh uniformed i want them random as they are so we've just put where the trees are for now and how high they are now i've turned my paper portrait way which is not the usual way to do a landscape picture it's called landscape for a reason um but this picture when i saw that i'm going to show you I'm going to show you the print of it that way round. And, and it just does not do it for me. If you see the two pictures, it's the bottom one that, that is more aesthetically pleasing. And it shows more of the road, of course. But it was just that angle, that portrait of the, of the trees. So that's why I've chosen to go portrait with my paper instead of um, landscape. OK, so there's a couple of trees there and I'm just going to put in where they are. I'm not worried about form at the moment. I'm just worried about where they all are. So I'm just mapping out and there's quite a big, a big tree there. We'll just. And then there's some that's sitting on this. Banking. Right, that's as many as I think we need there. I'm just going to put in. Um, a little bit of where the. The trees are overhanging for there, although they're lighter, but just to give me an idea of where those those trees are. Right, okay. I sort of lose the trees in the end of this picture, but that's fine, because I'm not worried about that. All I want is some of the branches coming off. I'm now moving on to the next stage, so I've done the mapping. I'm just going to do some horizontal lines. If you've seen the worksheet um, and the exercises, we actually go into this um, exactly what I'm doing on uh, on the worksheet. I think it was done on, what date is it today? Um, Paul, I've lost days. Um, it's the, the 14th today? Yeah, that figures. So it's the 14th, so it was actually done on the 13th. So I did, I did it yesterday. That would have been easier, wouldn't it, yesterday? Never mind. Right, okay. Here we go. So that's just a very loose map of where I want everything to be. Okay. There's some horizontals in there too, as you can see where the branches are coming off. There's, there's a few there. I'm not too worried because I want that to be light in that corner. Right, okay. Um... I'm not too worried about this side of the picture. I could put some more trees in there. 
and and they're not on the picture actually, but you know, trees are trees. So as long as you make them convincing, um, you can you can make that happen too. It's your picture, remember? Okay, so now then, we start with dark of the darks, yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to put in um, more of what we've just done. But I'm just going to choose um, a soft pastel. That was, well, we've talked about this on um, on, on the other videos. That's Facebook. But um, that is art graph. But what I'm going to do now is block in where I want the darks. Just to give me an idea of what the tree shapes are. I'm making a bit more form. Okay. Some lovely lights on those trees. We'll pick those up later. There's a couple of trees there. Or if you're not quite as accurate as you want to be, it's, it, this is the beginning. It's it's the start of. Okay, so I'm just putting in where those trees are. They're slightly bent, and then there's a few areas there, and then we'll just with the side of the pastel. I'm just going to do this sort of thing so like I say I, I could pick that fence up or I could not it, it's entirely up to up to me up to you right so just put some of those in there right not too worried about that just want to just give that a feeling of form so it's a hillside you see I've done that really randomly so just check that you've not unified because your brain will unify these <laughs> uh, automatically. That's what the brain's designed to do, organise things for you. Just make sure that they're not equal because the trees won't grow like that. We just, we just put them like that because, because that's what, like I say, that's what the brain does. So just make sure that it's not Uniformed into blocks, we have got randomness. It's a good word, isn't it? Randomness. <laughs> okay. Pick some of those branches up again at the top. And it's pretty dark up there. So let's put a little bit of dark up there. I'm not just going to do this. We've got some skiles to put in the top there. Look, that's going to be exciting. Um, I just want to give this the feel that we've got the darks. Right, and all these are dark up here. We can accentuate the branches and the trunks. But I just want to give a feel of dark everywhere, but in that light. That is the focus point for this picture for me. All right, okay, so oh, we should just do that, just put a little bit. Down to that road, just a little bit, so that we can pick the sunshine out on top. So if you've got no dark there, when you put these these trees, these light trees, you can see it's darker behind. You've got to make that happen, otherwise you you won't pick the the light of these trees up. Um, wherever there's light, there's dark behind it. Wherever there's dark, there's light behind it. It 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 works with each other. If you've got light and you think, why can I see that? It'll be because there's some darkness behind it. Check that out when you're looking on a walk. Just see, you can see, oh, beautiful light trees, leaves, and, and real, if it's a, a certain type of day and a brilliant sunshine shining on that tree, um, it will make the shadows darker and the leaves lighter. So it, it really does. That's why we we, we use a certain um, pastel to... to to really give the depth to the trees and then you can bring out the lights. I hope that makes sense. Um, it, it's easier to show you than actually um, talk about it. But that's 
that's the theory behind it. Uh, if you've got lights, you've got dark behind it so you can see the lights. Right. Now, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do some of the green. Well, I'm not actually. I'm actually going to put some dark, another dark on top of that. Another dark because I don't like to just do one colour when we're doing a, a, a picture like this. Just give it some more darks. And this is a really dark purple. Now you might think, oh, well, it's the trees, the green. No, I want this to be uh, the dark um, shadows of the trees. So we'll, we'll introduce green in a minute, but it's going to be a dark hue for most of it until we get to that light bit there. I want a little bit there, not a lot. It's not that dark under there. And this... I'm not going to pick up the, the form of the banking. I just want to... Give the lines to show that it is falling down there. Right, okay. Okay, you might say, oh, you've lost the, the, the tree shapes. Well, then just, you can put them back. It's not a problem. Because you will change this as you go through it. And that's like a five-year-old done that, isn't it? <laughs> okay, right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some of that dark green in we spoke about. Um, let me just get the dark green and I'm just going to put some dark greens in, in, in there we'll have the light greens coming through at the other side this is just the blocking in the, you know we're establishing where the darks are some of those greens go through there okay now, see bits there, a little bit of this green under there. So you've got three, actually three dark hues gone on there. You've got a dark brown, you've got a dark purple, really dark purple, and then you've got this um, dark green. So just shows where where the dark bits are okay all right five-year-old still done it I just need a wipe because we're working in dark colors you need to get your think look at here look 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 Ugh. right so now I'm gonna get some of those beautiful colors coming through there and I'm going to use I'm going to use and this is a um, it's a an orange yellow right and all I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to put in block in some of the the lights that's coming through the trees in the far distance there look remember I'm putting light behind dark so the dark will will, will come out at you also um It'll help to show that there's sunshine coming through there and it's on the edge of there, look. We can reinforce this later. It's just giving me an idea so I don't forget. We've also got some nice sunshine hitting the side of there. And we've got some light on those trees too. So I want some light behind there. This is the focus, remember. Okay, right. And then I want um, a pale green. Move the camera, sorry. Right, so I'm just going to put some green in there. Look, we've got some green um, in in that uh, distant where the focus is. And through there, we have green too. There's some green on there where it's hitting the side of the banking. 
And I've got some green up there. I've got a little bit of sky going off there. I'm not too worried about that. We can do sky holes for that. A little bit of green coming through here. And some green on that back. It's not all dark and doom. <laughs> Behind there. A little bit up there. Some through there. So if you see, I'm just picking out the colours at the moment where I want everything and then we can start doing the detail afterwards okay right now we've got some uh, some greens down there quite happy I might make that a little bit darker actually later but I just want to check that I've covered every little bit with this colour that I need and having said that, I mean, you can go back and reinforce the stuff that you want. Right, now then. Okay. So let's look at the tree trunks. So, they are dark. Um, I'm going to re-establish where they are because we've lost them, which is it's fine. I'm just going to re-establish where they are. So now I'm looking at form. Now I'm looking at how the tree actually sits on that floor. There's a lovely shadow behind. Bearing in mind, you know, where the sun's coming from. So over here, do you want me to write it on there? Let's write it on there in that yellow. So the sun was coming from there. Okay. So I've got that tree. This is a dark tree. Turn the past around so I get an edge. Um, right, so that one was a dark tree. And they go way up there. Forget the taper, that's also on that worksheet. You know, trees, uh, although on here they, they seem to be <laughs> one shape all the way up. They do taper, um, just make sure that it's not wider at the top than it is at the bottom. That's the only thing to remember with these. Okay, so another tree there. Right, and then there's some. Don't worry if it's not following the exact line that you did where the trees were. Just remember not to get them uniformed. Okay. We've got one there. See, now that's wrong. Yeah, because it's thicker at the top than it is at the bottom. That was one stroke. So what I would do is I'd come down, come down this, that side and make it thicker at the bottom or at least the same size on a picture like this I would tend to taper it <sighs> sort of gets lost as it gets up to there because you've got foliage and things going off okay now then we'll move to this side just pick up that nice bent one there And then other trees sit in there. Again, make sure they're not uniform. Do it naturally. <laughs> you will uniform them, I promise you. But uh, that's not what we're after. So just check when you've done something, uh, you know, when you finish that part of what you're doing, check that the trees aren't, aren't uniformed. Can't reiterate that enough because your brain automatically does it. Well, I've already automatically done it there. Look, it's 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 starting to. We'll put a little one in there just to stop that. Right. Now then, nice shadows coming off down here. You can put them in as well. Just just start to build up the shadows. I'm not too worried. It's look like a detail part. But now what am I going to do with this fence? Shall we put the fence in? Shan't we? I think you know. I think we will. We'll start to put that fence in so it's it's a little bit wide where it starts going around that corner but then it gets all squashed up and that's perspective okay and i'm just doing it in oh the torso gets bigger as it gets closer to you of course right so 
there we are and they're just marks you can put the cross member in if you want uh, it will help with the light in a minute actually so let's let's put that cross member in you can only just see it on see it on them a little bit more but I want to I want a thinner line on those because they're further away it does actually go around the corner although it's in the light I'll just do a few downs I'm getting further and further away right helps to go around that corner so we're actually got a feeling of, of um, a corner now that's good okay faff about with that all day long but I'm not going to do right okay <sighs> blow that off right so we've got some some um, dark trees there now so just clean your hands again because I'm covered in dark purple now then let's what I need to do now is and this is where um, your fixative will come in or hair spray, whatever I, you know you don't have to be getting fixative for this um but it does help now what's this that this is going to do is just stop uh that moving so much all right so what i'm going to do um is i'm going to just waft it a little bit just just to seal that that pastel on the board right because i don't want it to move what i've just done all right, and if I put things on there, it will all just smudge. Now, you'll notice that that has gone a little bit darker. All right, it's gone a little bit darker. So that's not a problem. But what I will do um, is I will put that road in now. So the road, hmm, it's a grey -y, purpley colour. Um, grey purpley colour. Okay, let's, let's try. It's a green. Let's try... See if this is too dark. Um, no, not worried about that. Right, what I am going to do, and these are pretty random because you cannot see where the uh, the trees are on this side to cast these shadows, or the sunshine, should we say. It's the opposite way around. So I'm not worried too much, but what I would advise is that you put, um, you leave gaps for them. So I'm just going to put in lines and I'll fill those lines in in a minute don't forget leave that back bit where it's really light you can you can freeze this again um, and put the light on top but you know what we know it's there so let's leave it light and let's just horizontal it doesn't have to be horizontal it's actually going down a little bit so um, the camber of the road is 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 further down, so I'm just following what I feel. Some nice light bits there, and the the gaps that you've left, like I say, they're random. We do, they don't have to follow a pattern of oh, there's a tree there, so we need some, you know, it needs to make sense. But on this occasion, um, it's not such an issue. Right. Now what I've not used today is my um, pipe insulation. Ha! Unheard of. So you know what? I'm going to use it on this and I'm going to follow. Just going to knock it back into the pastel mat. I am using Clairefontaine pastel mat and actually, I'm, actually, I'm actually using Terry Ludwig pastels it's the pine forest it's a limited edition um but it's a really nice pastel to use um i've only just started using these i, I, I quite like senalia um and unison unison are, are really really soft and i thought i'd give these terry ludwigs a go for this one so that's what i'm using occasionally if i haven't got the color that i want i might just switch to um you know in, in a a colour that I, I need and it's in a different brand that's not a problem all these pastels can be used together anyway so just want to make that 
look like it's ground coming through that fence and I'll add a little bit of green on there but as long as it shows that it's a different um, it's a different shape it's not a flat road and then there's a curb or something going off there it is a, it is a German road I guess so they do it different to us but they've got curbs on theirs country paths there's a little bit of darkness in there and I want to keep those light bits right now I'm not going to use um, I'm not going to use two I'm going to use that right I've got a light um, a light grey for this and this is going to make it's almost a blue it's going to make some of these sunshine colours you know I'm going down to detail and I shouldn't be it's so tempting I'll just show you the road then we'll go back to what we should be doing right so we've just picked up some of the shadows on the road this bit has to make sense if there's a shadow going off up there, although on that one there isn't, but hey ho, I would tend to, uh, for the viewer, make it so that the shadow goes up the banking and just slightly up the road. It just makes more sense. And then we've got that beautiful, beautiful colour there. It goes round that corner, it actually goes up.